Good evening. How's everybody doing on this Friday night? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming out here to the organ party, as I like to call it. Basically, this uh, I just started doing this organ thing on some of my gigs around town, basically because I just love the sound of guitar and organ. It's kind of like peanut butter and jelly. It just kind of goes together very well. Not as well as, I mean, piano and guitar don't go as well as organ and guitar for some reason. Don't ask me why. It's just like the timbre of it. But yeah, so we've been doing these gigs, Terry and I, with Dave and some other drummers around town. Sometimes we add the horn if I have enough budget for that, but it's usually a trio. But I was like, let's do like the big band for monks, and people came out, so thank you guys, yeah. Appreciate it. So yeah, we're just going to play some tunes that we've been playing on gigs and have fun and let me introduce the band real quick. Gene Centeno on the alto and the tenor sax. Eric Hargett on the tenor and the baritone sax. Dave Sierra on the drums. And the organ and organ party, Terry Bonus on the organ. And my name is Tommy Howard. Thank you guys. Yeah. So we're going to just keep playing some tunes and you guys sit back and enjoy. We're going to do a double shot of Wayne Shorter because everybody loves that. <laughs> He's actually probably my favorite composer, but... Yeah, here's two tunes by Wayne Shorter. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
you guys. Wayne Shorter, double block. That works good for organ quartet, I think. That first tune was called United. That's like from the 50s, probably, when he was in the Jazz Messengers, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. And then the second one was from the 60s. I think the name of that album is called Schizophrenia with that tune on there. Tom Thumb was the name of the second one. Colin, do you want to talk sure. right now? Let's bring up our esteemed leader, Colin Shook. <laughs> One more time for Tommy Howard. Thanks for coming out, everybody. It's a beautiful Friday night. Thank you for joining us here on the east side to listen to some jazz. Y'all are having a good time? God, I love that. Such power. Uh, thanks also to all of you tuning in online. I know it's Friday night. There's a lot of cool stuff going on out in whatever town you're in, I'm sure. But thanks for tuning in to the stream here. Uh, this is y'all's first time checking out Monks. We started back in 2016 as a pop-up listening room. I'm a jazz pianist and have been playing in Austin for years and years and there was just no spot in town where we could go listen to jazz without having a bunch of people, you know, having loud conversations all around us. So uh, we were doing these once or twice a month and uh, was doing that all the way up until the pandemic. We started streaming then and we've archived over 500 shows just like this from a wealth of talent here in Austin. There's so much uh, amazing music and so many amazing musicians here in Central Texas. And uh, you can check out our archive of that on our YouTube channel. Uh, we're also having a lot of great upcoming shows. Uh, we're off the rest of this weekend, and our next show will be on Wednesday night with the uh, Brian Pardo and Lynn Ray Quintet. Brian Pardo is also a fantastic guitarist. Um, that's Wednesday night. And then Thursday night, we have the Leo Gauna. Um, I think it's his octet. He's going to have a bunch of horns. It's going to be a great show. You can find all those tickets by going to the monksjazz.com website. And thanks so much again for all of you who are patronizing the club. 
tonight. If you're tuning in online and you want to support these guys, please go to the Venmo, the PayPal. You can also go to monksjazz.com slash tip. Please support these fine musicians. Thank you. Here's a tune by The Meters.
and personal space called Ease Back <laughs> by the meters. And we're gonna change total direction here and play a little Count Basie tune for you guys. This one is Shiny Stockings. I think it's written by Frank Foster, but it was made popular by Count Basie.
Thank you.
Thank you guys. Shiny stockings. So yeah, I tried to pick a set that was like showcasing all the different ways you can feature the organ. You know, you can do like funky stuff, swinging, Latin stuff, which is what we're gonna do next. Yeah. This is a great tune by Cannonball Adderley called Jive Samba. And it's kind of a Latin it's kind of faux Latin. I think that's where the name came from. It's not like a true samba, but it is like a straight eighth Latin kind of vibe. Thank you. 
Thank you guys. The Jive Samba Cannonball. Actually, Nat Adderley, his brother, wrote that tune, but it's on a Cannonball record. Uh, we got a couple more for you guys, if that's cool. Yeah. Say everybody, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys again for coming out. We're going to do a beautiful ballad now. This is one of my favorite new tunes that I recently discovered. It's by the great Charles Mingus, who's a bass player, but his biggest influence was Duke Ellington, so he wrote this piece for Duke, and it's entitled Duke Ellington's Sound of Love, and it's very uh, Dukeish, if you could if you could say that as a descriptive. Thank <laughs> you. 
a beautiful tune yeah Duke Ellington sound of love all right once again thank you guys so much for hanging out with us give it up again for Gene Centeno on the alto and tenor side <laughs> Eric Hargett on the baritone and tenor saxophone Dave Sierra on the drums Terry Bonus on the organ. And my name is Tommy Howard. Thank you guys again. We appreciate it. 
We are going to finish the night with uh, one of my favorite guitar players, Grant Green. This is one of his tunes. I think he wrote it. I, don't, I, know, I know he recorded it. It's called John John or Jan Jan. J A N J A N. John John, I think. Anyway, thank you guys. We'll see you all next time.
Thanks, guys. We had a good time. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Everybody get home safe. Thank you, guys. Good night.